Welcome in this new tutorial talking about how to set up SG4000 on Hyper-V. First of all, on Windows 10 Pro and Windows Server 2012 or 2, you have Hyper-V already available without downloading anything. You just have to verify if Hyper-V is already launched. So here, I can see that it's not already installed. So I have to go in the control panel in programs and features. I have to turn Windows features on. So I go here and then I have to tick Hyper-V. But I have also to verify if the hypervisor is activated. If the hypervisor is not activated, you will have to activate it via the BIOS of the computer. So I click OK. And now I will have to restart the computer. So I just restarted the computer and now I can search again Hyper-V. As you can see, we have Hyper-V Manager. So in Hyper-V Manager, we can create and import virtual machines. So for SG4000, we will have to import a virtual machine. To do so, you have to go on Internet, on La Croix of Rail website, On the webline technical area, you have the possibility to search SG4000. And you have SG4000 for Hyper-V. I already downloaded this file, so I will go in my folder. You will have to unzip the file. So extract all, extract. We have the unzip folder. In it, we have the online help in English and in French. And you also have the folder with the Hyper-V file. So in Hyper-V manager, now we have to import a virtual machine. Here we have to select the right folder. The folder to select is in SG4000, this folder, and this is the folder called SG4000 underscore Hyper-V. So I select this folder, click on Next, Next. Here I want to copy the virtual machine. I can let the default path. I let again the default path to the virtual hard disk. And here I have to select not connected. And finish. So we have the SG4000 installed. Now we have to create a virtual switch in Virtual Switch Manager. So you have three types of switch. The private switch is only for virtual machine communication. So you can only communicate between virtual machines. The internal switch is used when you want your virtual machine to communicate with the host machine. And the external switch is used if you want also to communicate with internet, for example, or a router. So this is external that we will choose. So you have to create a virtual switch. I will call it extern. And you have to choose 
the external network. So I want to apply. Yes. And then OK. So now let's go in the network connections menu. Here. So here, as we can see, we have the Ethernet card here. And in the properties, we only have the Hyper-V extensible virtual switch. And extern here, we have all the parameters previously on the Ethernet card. We have the IP address of the host machine. That is to say that if we want to choose an IP address for the SG4000, we will have to choose, for example, 92, 16, 8, 1, and 11, for example. Be careful because when you create the virtual switch, the DNS server uh, IP can disappear, so you will have to write it again. Now in Hyper-V Manager, I can select the SG4000 and go in the settings. Here we have all the information concerning the SG4000. Here we have the network card and it's not connected. But now we will choose the extern, which is the virtual switch we configured before. I apply and OK. And now we can start the SG4000. So start and we also connect to the machine to see what is happening. So this is the menu that you will have to choose the future IP address on your network. So this is the IP address that your SG4000 will have when it will be finally installed. So my network is on 1. One and I said 11. And the gateway is one one two five four and okay. So the host machine will be on one dot ten and the SG four thousand will be on one dot eleven. OK, so the SG4000 is ready. Can I close the window? And now let's go on the HMI. So SG4000 HMI is compatible with Google Chrome, Edge and Modea Firefox. You just have to search for the IP address, perfect. You have a message uh, saying that your connection is not private because you did not install the certificates, but you can continue and reach the HMI. So the default login is 
admin underscore VPN zero and the same for the password. So you have the license agreement and here you have the new password that you will choose for the future connection. I will choose admin underscore VPN one. Okay, so we can switch the language on the top here. Here you have a message saying that your options file is missing. You have to go in the settings and in the sales options menu. You have to search for your option and open it. I submit and then all the options are installed with success. And now I have 200 equipments allowed and the license number. Then we will have to parameter the SG4000 and the equipment. But this is the subject of the next video. Thank you for watching and see you next time in a new video. Thank you.